Incoming transmission. Picture this. A recording studio somewhere far, far away. Welcome, watchers of Illusion, to my Castle of Confusion. It's the 27th of November, barely, but it is the 27th, and I'm looking at a great game on the Amiga called Super Frog from Team 17, probably one of their better games. And uh, we're going to have a look at the options around about now. So you can have three, five, seven lives, easy or normal, and high score. You can save, well, you can load your, you can save and load your high scores, and there's level codes. So there we go. So let's get stuck in and see what Super Frog is all about. I remember playing this actually on the Amiga uh, back when it was released. So there we go. The uh, <clears throat> It is a side-scrolling, I'd say, platformer. And uh, the, the idea is basically to collect as many coins as you need to before you exit the level. A uh, fairly, uh, fairly bog-standard thing there. But the presentation on this game is lovely. You can see how many coins you need in the bottom right-hand corner. So we need 90 coins in able to exit the level. Um, I'm a bit rusty this, so bear with me. And it's also bloody fast, so uh, bear with. Um, I love the presentation of this game. The graphics on this are really, really nice. Very cutesy. Um, love the farting sound effect as you jump on those blue blobs. But damn, is it fast. Um, you'll collect power-ups as you go along as well. And it was endorsed by LucasAid. Just in case you're wondering why there's LucasAid bottles around. Let's have a quick look at the uh, heads-up display. Uh, you can see there. Oh, that's very Mario-esque, isn't it? Um, you can see the top left. You can see that you, your score, lives, energy, which you will replenish with these LucasAid bottles. Um, and basically... You uh, investigate around and explore the levels, and you pick up fruits for uh, scores and bonuses, and then you can pick up other things like... Uh, there's a little green thing that you can throw around, if I remember rightly. And then I think there's also a pair of wings, which doesn't enable you to fly, but it does enable you to uh, flap, which basically means you can control your descent. Now we've picked up the green thing, there we go. Um, you can chuck him around and knock enemies out of the sky and all that stuff. So that's quite cool, as you see there. Um, I lo just love this animation. Look at the eyes on that tree, following my every movement. There's quite a lot of um, quite a lot of thoughts gone into this game, actually. Um, I will say that the speed of it is is just like it's like playing Sonic on the Amiga, and I think that's what they were really sort of going for. Uh, I think there was a game on the Amiga as well called Tear Away Thomas, which kind of went for the same kind of effect, which was just a blitz. Um, to get through the levels, and it was incredibly fast, but very smooth. As, it, as you can see, this game, it's very, very smooth. Um, also tells you when there's danger. And it, oh, by the way, if you hit the spikes, it's a one-shot death. Doesn't matter about your um, energy points. If you hit the spikes, you die. So try and avoid those at all costs. You can see the animation on the game is absolutely lovely. It's very fluid, and um, it just flows so nicely. There's the wings, so now we should be able to flap, 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 there you go. So we now have controlled uh, descent, which is lovely. You can see it's, it's so so damn fast that you've, you've really got to be careful where you're going. It's so easy to die in this game if you're not careful. Now when you reach the end of the game, you can use your coins to gamble, which is like on this gorgeous fruit machine type thing here. Uh, you can get extra lives, blah, and you know, all the kind of bits and pieces associated with these sort of things. You see the credits there on the left-hand side, just above the high-low. We have six credits. So we're going to uh, see if we can win anything, and it's all automated, so all you need to do is click on the Start or Collect button, and the rest of it will go as uh, automated as possible. So here we go, let's see if we can actually get anything. It's being a bit tight actually at the moment, but uh, that's fine, that's fine. So we've got a bell, we've got no Lucas Aid and Lucas Aid. Boo! Um, but I think if you get blueberries and a random one, or a, there we go, uh, we've got something up there I can't see what um so yeah we've just collected something that's cool so we're going to uh, get back into the game in just a moment but you can do this at the end of every level and I think that's really quite nice a little sub game as it were you can see there the worlds are one two three four five which is nice and it's nice to see the wings are there straight away um yeah you can jump actually a majority of the enemies you can jump on I think the hedgehogs obviously for uh for reasons that are self-explanatory, you can't jump on top of them, but you can jump on top of the bees. You don't need to knock them out of the air with your little green bogey thing. Um, but you can jump on those. You can jump on these blue things. Um, 
but yeah, hedgehogs are a no-go. Now the bees you find in swarms, which is no, probably no big surprise, uh, so sometimes you jump on one and you'll get knocked out of the sky by another, so you'll be careful of that as well. Um, your little green guy is infinite, so you can use him as many times as you please. You can see there there's other power-ups. Green, green power-ups make you run faster, and the I think the red ones slow you down, which isn't a bad thing, because sometimes you just go so fast that you just career off into a uh, pit of spikes, which is not fun at all. So you've got to be careful. So use the speed to your advantage or disadvantage, as the case may be. You see the, the, the bees actively try and get to you as well, which is quite nice. Uh, so the AI is, is fairly fairly good as well. Now they did do a remake of this one I think in 2013 for um, Android and uh, iPhone I think and they did it in full glorious HD so if you've played this, the new version of Super Frog well this is where the original this is this is where it all originated from so there you go um, it's a, there you go landed on spikes it's insta death which is annoying because you then lose your power ups as well they do not persist through death which is a shame, but there you go. Uh, you can see how many, how many bees do you want? Um, that was a very close call there, ladies and gents. I do like this game. It's very, very fast, very fluent, and the uh, and the music, by the way, is great fun. It's uh, very, very jolly tunes, and uh, there's different ones throughout the game, which is nice. So I think you'll be uh, well away there. And it doesn't seem to grate either. You know, some games that you play and the music or the sound effects completely grate on you. This actually isn't that bad. I've just picked up my little bogey friend and now I can chuck him around. Um, the precision is a little frustrating at times. You've really got to sort of nail it in the right area to be able to hit things. Um, but other than that, you know, it's, it's just a minor niggle really. It's a great game for all age groups as well. So if, you, if you're a younger player, I think you'll like Super Frog. And if you're an older player, you're going to relish the uh, challenge that comes with trying to get through some of these levels. Um, you can see how challenging the level layouts are. And I've got 30 coins in which to exit this level. So finding said 30 coins is the challenge for me now. Now there's some up there. Um, I've got to find out how to get up there. That's part of the challenge that you're going to face. Is knowing where coins are but not knowing how to get to them exactly. And sometimes the precision of the jumping to actually land on these um, NPCs is a little tight. To say the least. So yeah, there you go, landing on spikes again. Never mind. But yes, the jumping can be a bit of a pain in the ass, especially when you're trying. There you go, way too fast with the greens. So always pick up the red ones if you can, just to slow yourself back down. Very easy to career into those spikes, so be very careful. But there we got the wing power up again, which is nice. I do believe there's hidden areas as well, which you can just do by smashing through the walls. I've got a feeling there was one back up there, but I can't be bothered to go back and have a look. So we're going to uh, just continue through, see if we can uh, finish this level. If I don't, because we are pushing for time now, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, by the way, thank you for the feedback um, regarding the longer playthroughs. Um, I will be doing those very shortly. I'm actually going to try and do normal reviews around the 10 minute mark, and then I'll do a separate uh, playlist for videos that I'm going to invest a bit more time in. So thank you very much for the feedback. Now you can see there the exit is blocked until we finish the level. So we need to find those missing two coins to be able to progress. But you know what? I don't think I'm going to make it because I don't know where they are. Um, but I really do encourage you to play Super Frog. It is one of Team 17's better games considering that we've had a couple of stinkers recently. Uh, including Body Blows Galactic I think was the one I was playing. Very, very disappointing. But this game is fun. It'll keep you coming back. The challenge is great. The learning curve is really good. And I think you guys will enjoy the game itself. So, if you haven't played Super Frog, pick up a copy and give it a go. That's all from me, folks. I've been Rich. This has been the Retro Revival Show. And this has been Super Frog on the Amiga. I bid you farewell, and I shall catch you again very, very soon. Goodbye, my friends. Until next time. Bye for now. <laughs>